That's a good one. Oh, that's a baby. Nice. nice. Look at that right there. Welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna be skipping some jigs under trees for some big largemouth bass. These are some pre-spawners, they're fat, thick, chunky. I'm, I'm gonna tell you, we've caught a lot today so far, so stay tuned if you guys are new to the channel. Hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, also hit the like button. We're gonna have some fun today, guys. Everybody's been asking about jig fishing, more importantly, skipping undercover. We're gonna be talking about it today and catching some donkeys. Let's get her back in the water. I'd say she is an high two. She's not three pounds, but that is a fat little chunk. There she goes. So we just made it out to a new lake. We haven't been here in a long time. Super clear water. It's an awesome little lake to fish. I think the last time I filmed a video out here was probably eight months ago. We just left the first place that we hit. Only had one bite, but it was a good one. It was a solid it one. It was a good fish. Can't do you complain. have a picture? Uh, I do. You want to show the, show the picture real quick? By the way, follow me on IG at Kicking Their Bass TV. Um, but we're going to get out on this lake today, have a lot of fun. You know, it looks like a, at least a 12 pounder next to Noah because he's, oh, yeah. he's only he's only 4'2. Yeah, I'm actually 4'1. <laughs> we actually have a guest that's that's behind the camera today. I kind of want to show you, Cody. I, I don't know if you want to be, do you want to be on camera? Sure. Yeah. We got, we got okay. Cody with us today. Um, he's helping out with the film and uh, everything. We actually had lunch the other day and uh, we were just talking about life, talking about fishing, talking about filming. And uh, he's going to oh, be yeah. in a lot of the videos coming up hopefully soon. Um, but we're just going to get out here today. It's a pretty day on the water. He's going to hop on my boat. I'm going to be on the front. Fletcher's going to be on his boat. We're going to try to stay near each other just so we can, you know, talk a little trash. Talk a little bit of trash, <laughs> throw a couple jigs at each other's face. Should be a lot of fun, but uh, let's go ahead and hop on the boat. We're going to have a good time. All right, let's go ahead and get it. You good, Cody? Yep. I promise I'm not going to throw you in. I'm good to go. Time. Kind of bottomed out a little bit, but we got her off. We're good to go. You good? Yep. Look how clear this water is, too. It is crystal clear. And did you bring the GoPro, Cody? Yes. You brought the GoPro. So Cody actually brought a little GoPro, too, and we're going to try to get some underwater shots. The water's really clear out here. So I think that's going to be cool. It's going to be refreshing because back in the YouTube days, like probably six years ago, maybe seven years ago, I used to a lot of underwater shots. And it's kind of nobody does them anymore, like in the YouTube scene. So we're gonna hop back on that, and I think it's gonna be cool in the clear water. Right out there, it's got like a big, big tree that lays down. Fish usually hang off on the edge. We'll just start off here, kind of fan cast, see if we can snag a good three, four pounder. Start off. I think they're gonna eat that jig though. I want, I want to catch some big ones on a jig. I'm just in the mood. I don't know how well I'm going to be able to throw this drop shot on this actual stuff, but I definitely can throw it around it. Yeah. One thing I want to talk about is just retying, you know, it's so important. And, uh, you know, Learn from my mistakes. I broke off a ton of big fish just by not retying. And I think it's one of the most important things when you're on the water is just be aware of that, especially when you're fishing big old brush piles or big old pipes, culverts on the bottom, big rocks, you know, it's gonna fray your line. And it's just something to keep in mind. You need to be retying often. Cause if you don't, you're gonna lose a lot of big fish like me. And uh, it happens a lot, but learn from my mistakes and just retie. If you guys are wondering what knot, it's a uni knot. You guys already know. There we go, we're good. Fletcher's over here trying to steal my fish. He goes, we gotta go over there together. And he's already casting on it. See, see what he does? I think you're gonna smoke one on that drop shot, honestly, though. Good enough, dude. Like it, I that's actually a good little combo. You know, I'm throwing the jig, you're throwing the drop shot. Something a little bit different. I gotta love when you get a perfect skiff and it hangs on the branch, messes your whole cast up. <laughs> Hey, it was the first skip of the day, though. So. I'll tell you what we're going to do. Throw this fluke. Got this on a, this little mock crush. Cast up under these trees. The thing is, we got the clouds out today. 
And, and what happens when it's super cloudy, these bass tend to roam. So instead of us fishing this offshore stuff right now, decided to come back in this little pocket, see if there's any roamers along this bank, any fish that are pushed up shallow. We're kind of getting into this pre-spawn too, so it's this transition. So these fish should be pushing up. thing is we should be able to see this fish eat the food. I feel like it's about to get good. Yeah. Oh, he just broke me all. That's about a four or five pounder, bro. Really? I was just talking about retying too. Notice I didn't retie this rod. Gosh, it's a big one. It happens, but it's just unfortunate that we actually talked about it right before this and I made the mistake of not retying this one. But hey, it happens and we learn from it. Even though I've probably learned from this 75 times in the last month. <laughs> I went down to Florida and broke off so many eight pounders. This big one. Oh yeah, he's got some size too. He's got some size. Nice. Dude, that's a thick one. You can tell, yeah. These are the Z2s by Strike King of Last Tech. I'm a big fan of them. I just can't believe I broke off that fish. But hey, we're gonna get right back in there and catch another one. I was just telling Fletcher, if I would've landed that fish with that one that he just caught, we would've just had like eight pounds and two fish. That would've been a crazy start, but can't let it hurt, hurt our feelings because we're gonna throw right back in there and catch another one. Let's see what we got. Oh, there she is. Clocked it. Yeah, that's a good one too. Not bad. Not, not like that one that I lost, but she's a good one. She's fighting hard too. Look how thick she is. That's what it's about right there. That's what it's about. Dude, that is a football. You talk about a football, <laughs> that is a football. Look at the markings. It's just pretty in the clear water. Dude, man, when this water gets those colors come out like crazy. Look right there in the top of your mouth too. Right there in the top. You couldn't get it better. Hey, I can't complain. You just gotta love catching fish like that. Let's go ahead and get this baby back in the water. We're gonna get back in there. Uh, there's fish, there's, they're, they're pushed up shallow. You know, they're roaming. <laughs> we'll get a sexier release here in a bit. <laughs> All right, there we go. What you think, Cody? Oh yeah, that was a nice fish. That was, that was fun. Give me some right here. Oh yeah. That's freaking Look at that. Hey, I got a giant fletch. That's a good one. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> I don't know, he's dang big. That, that might be five. Nice. Uh, probably high fours. Yeah, I watched him. Yeah. I, when, he, when I saw him jump the first time, I thought he looked like a six. Dude, bro. no, he's big. Don't, don't, don't <laughs> let it fool you. Look at that one. <laughs> That's an over four pounder right there, easy. You want a scale? Dude, she came, yeah, yeah, we can wear. That's a four pounder, dude. That, that's, yeah. Yes, Cody. Yeah. That's what we need, <laughs> don't we, right here. That's a good fish. Look how fat they are, too. I'm trying not to hook set too hard. I'm kind of terrified now after I broke that one off, but, oh, that's a good fish. Just make sure you clear that scale. We're going to have a dang bag today, boy. <laughs> we like, are getting after it. What you think? I think four and a quarter the max. Yeah, she's she's four, I think. Four nine. Four nine. Four pounds and nine ounces. Almost. She got some sneaky weight. Yeah, four and a half pounder right there. Well, let's get it. Dude, she's just fat as can be. Like, you can't beat that right there. It's just so much fun. This is what fishing's about, guys. Getting out on the water, enjoying life. You know, it's a beautiful day, dude. I, I'd rather it be like this all day than sunny. Like, oh. this is just pretty. You know, we're all in hoodies, just chilling. And a uh, good fish like that. We're going to get an underwater shot on this one. We got to do it. This should just 
B1 right there, man. That's just. I would have loved to see it skip an officious. Mm hmm. Oh, there he is. Oh, my God. Uh, that was a small one. I didn't see him eat it, or I'd, I just watched the fluke disappear. Like, I could tell he ate it. So, I'm opening up a new pack. These are, you know, Rage Curls. This one is actually watermelon red, and this green, and this jig is the same way. You know, it's got a little bit of green, a little bit of red flake in it. And uh, the one thing I like about these jigs, which I've seen a couple bait companies do this recently, and this is like a game changer, is it actually has... Cody, what are we doing? <laughs> yep, that was my fault, man. I didn't mean to run into one of those trees. <laughs> no, so they have this like little screw lock on right here at the bottom and it actually keeps the bait on. And these rage crawls will last on there for a very long time. I actually only had one rage crawl on that jig and I think I caught around, actually I put two, two on, but I probably caught around 20 fish on that one crawl. And these aren't even the elastic. These are actually very soft plastic. It's a good hybrid. It's not too soft, it's not too rough. Um, and when you screw them on this bait like this, it just, it's a game changer. It really is. Look at that. And this bait is on, I'm telling you, like, it's crazy. Well, let's go ahead and get to work. That's a good one. Solid, solid pushing three. Right there on that bend, makes sense. Dude, what in the world, dude? These fish are so fat. <laughs> Look at that, can you tell on the camera? I know the camera's a little weird sometimes. Right, you can see it on this one. It is fat, that is thick. If there's a thick old boy in this lake, th this is the thick old boy. And look at that Strike King jig, skipping jig hanging out of his mouth. I've been loving this jig, man. I didn't know about it at first. Like the first video we dropped, I was like, I'm gonna try it out. But let me tell you, it's been smoking the fish in this clear water. It's got that green pumpkin, a little bit of blue glimmer on the jig. Fat girls like it. Or is he a fat boy? Is he a fat boy? Look at that stomach right there. Nah, we, I, we know where they're at. Oh yeah. man we're gonna try to get a double up because these offshore spots can be just it's dumb just dummy so we're gonna see make a good old cast up there with this jig give her a little and then lean into them that's how we do it they probably will man i'm gonna try the jig at first just to get us an old double up if they're if they're really stacked and I'm gonna switch to that fluky dude. That fluke's killing it. I wanna just hit that tiny gravel on the side, you know what I'm talking about? Double up on fives, maybe. We did it before. Or it was like fours, but I think we tripled up with fours with my Oh yeah, I know your dad was out here. That was that was crazy. That was the last day we came out. Yeah, that's been a minute, dude. They might have really pushed off of this stuff, dude. These clouds today, man. Uh, you know. I don't think you're on me. No, I got a fish. Oh, you got one? oh yeah, you do got one. Oh, you're dang big. One. Oh. Came off. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> happens i'm just acting like a fool today man i don't know that was kind of my bad i i thought you were more in no no you're good uh that was about what a four pounder close to it two next cast there's no way throw in there fletcher oh gosh two big ends on this offshore spot <laughs> All right, Fletcher, I'm waiting. Get you, get you an old. She's not the big, or she's a good one, dude. I don't know what I'm saying. Ah, look at that. <laughs> three pounder, three out of four. You can't beat that. Look at that, enjoying life. 
Nice little fish. Look at his lipstick too. It's turned into a fashion model today. Fat, thick, old bass. What you think? That was a good one, dude. Oh, it's yeah. a nice little fish. That was a nice one. It's crazy to throw back in there, cast to cast. That's what we were talking about. Those fish, you know, what, what you got to understand about bass is they hang together. And uh, that's that's just a little note right there to take. I mean, it was back to back. Same spot. So down below, so, you know, we're, we're kind of off the bank a little bit. There's these huge pipes that they actually dumped in here. And uh, there's a bunch of brush as well, but those fish are stacked on it. Let's get this baby back in the water. Tell the lake's just a little low, but it's perfect to skip under everything. I know, it makes it nice. It nice. actually makes it perfect, yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, I think that bend would be solid too, bro. Yeah. Be right next to me, that's a dang decent one. Dude, these are all big, Fletcher. They're all big. We, we picked the right spot to come to this morning. how close that one ate. Stabbing the heck out of my hand. Nice. Yeah, he ate right next to me. Dude, his lips are so red. I had him good too. He went coming off. Look at that right there. Yeah. That's a pretty fish. It's just a heavy two, like high two, maybe pushing three. I bet you look and you drifted on top of what he was on. There's rock right there. Probably. Or no, I actually caught him right there. I think I think was you it right drifted. Here? I was think it? you drifted. I might have. A bunch of chunk rock right under you. That's a pretty fish, guys. Let's get her right back in. Nothing big. That's probably the smallest one I've caught today, isn't it? Which is crazy because that's a good fish. It's just happening today. Sometimes you get those days, just you know, the fish are biting. It's nice outside. There she goes. There we go. It has been a little weight. Just tied the jig back on. We got us a solid three pounder right here. Let's get her. Oh, she barely hooked. We just gonna risk it. Risk it for the biscuit, baby. Let's go. Right there, that's a high two number. I wanna say he's a, a three pounder, but hey, he big good, let me tell you. Skipping this jig under these trees, you gotta love that bite. And that is a stud. Every fish has just been fat, healthy, um, beautiful markings on them. And uh, that's what you want to see when you come to a lake, especially one that you haven't been to in a very long time. And these fish are just filled out, fat stomachs. That's a good, I'd say two and three quarters, two and a half, two and three quarters. There she goes. Dude, no way. That's a freaking big one, too. You just ate it at the boat. Oh my gosh. Dude, that is insane. Me and Cody's just over here chatting. Yeah, dude, a good one, bro. <laughs> right after that last one, just crazy. These fish are awesome in this water too. You're not gonna do it. I want to give him a little. I want him to give me a little dance real quick. Look at that, dude. These are like probably the smaller ones of today, but it's crazy to say that. Like these are good fish, solid two and a half, two and three quarters, thick and healthy. That fish ate me under the boat. Um, we were fishing along that bank. It was really shallow. This one finally dropped off a little bit, but I think I need to be having the boat a little further out because this fish has ate it right at the boat. But that is a pretty two and a half, pushing two and three quarters fish right there. They're just very dense, very dense and fat. Healthy fish, healthy bass. And I think that is gonna be the last fish on today's episode, guys. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, hit the like button. We got some awesome content coming soon. I'm about to film a video just on skipping jigs, so stay tuned for that one. Hit the like button. I love you guys so much. Peace.